a potato. A potato made Kevin Abosh famous in the art world and brought in a little money too. It's potato number 345, which I created in 2010. Uh, was actually part of a larger series of objects and other potatoes. You know, somebody came over to my, my home, somebody who had already, was already a collector of my work, and when they saw it, uh, they, uh, they asked me if it was for sale, and, uh, and it was for sale. For? For a million euros. His photograph is among the most expensive in the world. I think if it, if it were another object, maybe an avocado or a carrot, it's, it, it wouldn't have uh, achieved such notoriety. In fact, that's the purpose. You know, this thing that uh, is sort of common, pulled from the earth, covered in dirt. The general public, anyway, saw that as absurd. Abosh's latest project pushes the envelope again, this time capitalizing on the cryptocurrency craze. The I Am A Coin project is uh, essentially my response uh, as an artist to the commodification of humanity. Uh, I like to think that we come into this world like newly minted coins, sort of perfect and, 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 pri and priceless. Um, the moment that we come into the world, there are those that try to ascribe value to us. So they might say that that boy over there, oh, he's so full of potential, but that girl, she's worthless. And that, that, that's rather perverse. It also capitalizes on the craze that we're all talking about with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and this big boom we're seeing where everybody's paying attention now. At some point, uh, as an artist, uh, achieving some modicum of success, uh, the, the, the focus shifts a little bit from the artistic value to the monetary value. And you, you yourself start to feel like you've uh, been turned into some sort of commodity. Uh, and, and I started thinking about myself in this sense, am I, am I just a coin? Uh, so I, I, I had my blood taken and I had a stamp, a rubber stamp made uh, with, a, with a blockchain contract address. And with my blood, I, I imprinted that address on paper. That string of numbers and letters is what's called a contract address for a digital currency Abosh has also created. Think Bitcoin, but in this case, they're called Iama coins. He says those coins are virtual art, and the stamped pages, which he's made a hundred of, are physical art. People like they can like buy your blood tokens or explain right. that to me. Okay, I'll tell you all about it. You would have to have a, 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 a wallet uh, uh -huh. to accept uh, tokens on the blockchain, mm -hmm. uh, which is an easy enough process, and, right. then, and then they would be transferred to you. Uh, that could be through a sale, it could be through a gift. Just like you use a bank account to store US dollars, a cryptocurrency wallet is where you put things like Bitcoin or Iama coins. And you may even be able to redeem that virtual art down the road. The physical artwork, uh, I think over time what I'm going to do is make it available to the people who already own my virtual art. They'll be able to redeem some amount of the virtual artwork for the physical if they want. It's interesting though, you idea this like virtual art. Like, right. You're, you'll get pushed back to say, okay, is virtual art actual right. art? If you can't oh. touch it, feel it, if it's, if it's not here. Sure. And, in your place, like, but it brings up this whole new question of like, yeah. what is value? It does. It, that's exactly what it brings up. But but you know, uh, if I think if you if you look at art and you distill it uh, to its its core essence, it's about the idea. Yeah. And so I think in in this case, where the art itself is the token, uh, is this I am a coin. Mm -hmm. uh, you you have a situation where the the person who possesses it is partaking in the experience. Hmm. I mean, this is, an, this is an artistic movement. And so it's not about ownership of something physical. It's not about having to see something. It's about partaking in the experience and the blockchain's public ledger uh, uh, can verify that you are one of the people who's partaken in it. Virtual art that's essentially invisible seems kind of strange, but Abosh thinks there's a market for it. People who are familiar with the world of gaming uh, are, are, are very familiar with uh, buying uh, virtual goods, whether it's you know Sim City mm -hmm. or you know some weapons and some and some some fighting game, uh, and uh, but now you you see even on Facebook you see people giving people each other virtual gifts. Mm -hmm. It's a huge 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 market. Looking at it through the lens of blockchain, where everyone is asking this question of well, if it's not physical, if it's not money, if it's not in our hands right. or in our banks, does it exist? it kind of plays into that larger narrative. And to that I would say that beauty is in the mind of the beholder.